Hello guys, kumusta kayong lahat? Gusto ko lang i-share sa video na ito kung paano ka magkaroon ng uh, stock broker account sa Pilipinas. Ngayon, yung stock broker na ginagamit ko ay Call Financial. Ang Call Financial ay isang platform kung saan pwede akong magbumili at magbinta ng stock. No? Bumili at magbinta. Buy and sell. Okay? So, ngayon, isi-share ko sa inyo. Panoorin nyo itong video na ito. At, uh, at kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, ay click nyo lang yung thumbs up button at click mo na rin yung subscribe and dyan lang sa yan sa gilid na nakikita mo so okay na subscribe mo na ba so click mo na lang yung subscribe at tara simulan na natin Welcome back po dito sa aking channel. So kung ikaw ay gusto mong mag-invest sa stock market, gusto mong mag-trade, gusto mong mag-buy and sell, okay, so, punta lang kayo sa, ano, yung ang i-recommend ko pala sa inyo ay yung um, isang stock broker dito, doon sa Pilipinas ay ang Call Financial. Okay, so ang Call Financial ay ito yung mga, ginagamit ng mga maraming trader doon sa Pilipinas at mga, sa mga, ano, mga OFW natin stock trader, yung mga investor. Okay, so, punta lang kayo sa website nila ng callfinancial.com Okay, yan po. Tapos, isearch nyo lang yung pag nabuksan nyo na, ganito po yung makikita nyo. I-open lang po natin, buksan lang natin yung itong open an account. So, ito po. Pagkatapos ay hanapin natin yung online registration. So, meron ditong online express. Online express. Bisaya na. Submit all requirements online, express account and activation after funding. Okay, mag-a-activate lang yung account nyo pag uh, namulagyan nyo na ng pera. Okay. Okay, so click natin yung sign up. So, Madas madali lang kasi ngayon yung, yung registration ng ano sa call financial para ikaw magkaroon ng uh, account. Dahil dati ay eh, pumunta pa ako dun sa, sa may Makati. At doon talaga ako nag-open ng, ng, ng account ng Call Financial. So ngayon, online lang ay pwede na ma-activate. Magkaroon ka na ng uh, stock broker account. Magkaroon ka na ng Call Financial uh, account. Okay, so ito pala. So basahin lang natin to One valid government issued ID. Blank sheet of paper of uh, for signature capture. Philippine bank account details for employed or self-employed. Is 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 J I C R I N and PIN. So C R I N na yun is 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 na yun ni. And PIN number. So for minus naman birth certificate, two two requirements. So kailangan mo na three signature sample with your ID. Silpi with your ID. So get started. Tapos ito yung mga terms and conditions before ka magstart ng apply. So ikut basahin mo lang yun kung gusto mong basahin. So, so, click mo lang yung buy, agree. Agree, tapos yung first name mo, yung first name natin dito, ilagay natin example. Antayin natin na matap. Mag-ano siya? So, verify your email address. Okay, i-check natin dito sa ating um, ating email kung uh, para ma-verify natin. Okay, so, punta natin dito sign up ito. Call financial, verify email. So, click natin yung verify email. Okay, tapos makupunta tayo dito sa Call Financial uh, website. So, magtitik sila sa ating uh, magtitik sila sa ating mobile number na binigay. So, na-receive ko na. So, ito 71291. So, click verify. Tapos, next. Click natin yung next. Ito, ito, i-select natin yung, so kung gusto nyo, para sa inyo lang, sa sarili nyo lang, click nyo lang itong individual. Pag joint naman, uh, an account, ito yung, uh, halimbawa, dalawa kayo sa kaibigan mo, or kapatid mo, o di kaya asawa mo. Tapos yung ITF naman, 
Ito yung interest for, so, halimbawa yung anak mo. Yung anak mo na below age, 18 years old ko lang, so kailangan mo. Kailangan mo ng, ano, ito yung ikiklik mo pala, ito yung isiselect mo. So, para sa video na ito ay individual lang yung uh, ikiklik ko. Okay, click next. So, basic, civil, single, me, year. So, fill upan lang natin to lahat. At, um, ayan. So, sana, sana maging okay to dahil meron akong tatlong account sa, meron akong tatlong account din ng call financial. So, country of information, Philippines, sana yun? Country of citizenship. Philippines. So, kung kayo ay taga, ano, country of birth kung saan kayo pinanganak, uh, kung citizenship nyo ngayon, kung kayo ay Filipino or nasa ibang bansa na kayo, doon na kayo nakatira. You see, click nyo na lang. Country of residence. So, Philippines pa rin. So, click natin yung next. So, marami-rami pa. Uh, phone number, present address. Okay. Click natin yan. Um, click natin yung country, Philippines, municipality, uh, Leyte. Ayan, Leyte. Tungunan. Tungunan. Tananga. Leyte. Okay, same. Ah, so, nagay na lang natin yan. So, click natin yung yes. Next. So, employment status, employed. So, occupation na mga construction. Sabihin natin, electrician. So, TIN. Kung may TIN kayo, is, is, is. Uh, CRN. So, i-click nyo lang yan. So, kailangan po natin fill up an yan. So, kung hindi ko alam kung kung ma-approve ba itong matatapos ba natin ito kung hindi natin nagyan. So, employer name. So, So, employed. Sabihin na natin, unemployed. Sabihin natin, unemployed. Kung unemployed naman, hindi tayo dyan. So, UFW. Efficient unit. So, kailangan natin. So, sabihin natin, unemployed. Unemployed. So, next. Para wala nang tanong-tanong. Are you corporate? So, no. No lang ito. Para mabilis. Okay. Okay. Sabihin na lang natin na uh, social media. Hmm, call offices, no? Pa are you US person, no? So, click natin yung yes. Uh, financial. So, asset mo is oh, less than 500,000. Less than annual income. Source of fund. Investment family. Inheritance. Source of fund. Regular remittance allowance. So, yun na yan. So, next. Your investment objectives is uh, sabihin natin high gains, high risk. Low gains. So, kayo minimal gains, no risk. Moderate. Sabihin natin moderate. So, is your, is, what is your investment experience? Yung kaalaman mo. So, limited. Limited lang. How long can you keep funds? How long can you keep your funds invested? So, live more than 5 years. How much of your savings are willing to invest? So, around, so 10%, more than half am I, around one-fourth is done, okay, one-fourth. Tapos next, option of withdrawal, oh, credit to bank, pick up. So, kung wala pa tayong bank account, so, click nung natin itong pick up, call facet. So, kailangan natin ng mag-upload ng mag-take a photo upload file ng pinagmahan natin. Tapos, back of the portion, signature back of portion ID. So, ID and signature. So, basahin natin nga. Please take a clear copy of the photo requirement with a maximum size of 4 MB each and make sure to follow the sample portion to avoid delay in the approval of your application. So, ID and signature, please place your ID, your valid ID on a blank piece of paper and sign three times below. Okay.
Okay, so parang katulad lang nung pumunta ako dun sa opisina nila, nag-fill up ako ng tatlong bisis, hindi lang tatlong bisis. Kasi kailangan mong pari-pariha yung firma mo. Dapat magka-pariha talaga sila. Hindi pwedeng hindi pariha. Okay, signature, back portion of ID. If your ID has each signature at the back, sample, passport, please take or upload a clear picture of back portion. Signature page of your ID, so take a photo or upload ID. Selfie, take a photo. Take a photo or upload file. So, click natin yung next. So, please select all necessary photo requirements. So, ihanda lang natin yung gamit ko. Yung ID natin. Kukukunin ko lang para i-upload natin. So, mag-upload tayo ng ID natin. So, upload ako. SD card. Okay, so meron tayo dito 2.2 Okay, tapos Ito naman Upload file if your ID has its signature, so mo, kailangan ko ba? So, tukukan natin upload kahit na, kahit na ano. Okay. So, i-upload na natin yung selfie natin. Tapos, ah, 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 Tapos click yung next. Okay, upload na. So, click yung next. So, are you ready to submit? Are you ready to submit your application? Otherwise, click submit now. Then, you know, you're ready to submit your application. So, kailan i-check nyo ulit yung mga ano nyo, yung pinilapan nyo. Pero, pag okay na, so, click nyo lang yung submit. So, this is submit na natin yun. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. You accomplished your call financial opening account your call account opening form we shall review your application for completeness and if approved we shall send your eight digit call financial reference number and funding instructions to your registered email soon after you may start investing after funding your account thank you so guys, ma-activate lang po yung inyong account kapag nalagyan nyo na ng uh, pera. So ang minimum dito na ilalagay mo ay 1,000 pesos lang. So napaka-mura lang. So yung 1,000 pesos na yon pwede ka na makabili ng stock. So kung hindi mo pa alam kung anong stock na bibilhin mo, i-message mo lang ako, mag-comment ka lang dyan dito sa video na ito. Ah, uh, o di kaya mag ka sa messenger ko at so, sabihin ko sa'yo kung ano yung uh, uh, ano ano yung ang tawag na ano yung recommendation ng aking mentor para yung uh, recommendation na ang recommendation ng aking mentor na ano kasya kasya yung 1,000 pesos so kung may may mas malaki ka pang puhunan dyan Mas may mas malaki ka pang i-fund doon sa Apple financial account mo. So, mas maganda. Okay? So, tingnan natin dito sa email natin. Sign up. So, you may continue your application through link. Cancel my application. Tapos, congratulations. We shall review. So, yun na yun. So, antayin natin yung email ng ating uh, ng call financial. Okay? Kapag ma-approve na, so, kapag mag-approve na yung uh, ng registration natin, ay pwede na tayong magsimula. So, guys, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you po sa panonood at sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito. So, kung sakaling nakatulong itong video na ito sa inyo, ay i-click mo lang yung thumbs up at 
isubscribe mo na rin yung aking channel para ma-update ka sa mga latest na video na aking i-upload. Okay? Thank you. Thank you guys.